using both local and non-local contractors, we have done a ton of work to the Northeast Leisure Pool since we started. We've used sonar technology for leak detection to fix broken pipes, remove finishing from the hot tub to get a good look at what needed to be done. We've opened up several areas inside the tub to make the repairs to the main drains and the jets. We've opened up the pool decking to repair leaks identified through our sonar scanning, repaired the concrete, refinished the concrete in the hot tub, filled and tested the tub. As you can see, we still have water in the tub currently. Additional leaks were identified throughout the process that we've been working on. Used camera equipment to research additional piping breaks. Plugged or bypassed piping and some additional leakage, which has been ongoing this past week. Utilized a product to seal minor cracks in the system. Again, additional leaks were discovered and repaired and are continued to be worked on. Restarted the investigation process again, isolating parts of the system. Identified leaking valves that needed replacement before additional investigation work could continue. Found and repaired additional leaks in the hot tub and again filled it to ensure that we could find more leaks if they're present at this time. The challenges that we've been faced at this time is all of the piping is in concrete. It makes the troubleshooting and repairs extremely complex, not only for our own team, but for out of town and, and local specialists and experts in the field. Repairs to one or part of the system allow for further investigation and testing, which means additional repairs are gonna be required. Construction drawings are not consistent with the actual build of the facility. Global supply chain challenges have caused delays of obtaining parts especially the specialized parts that we need for the hot tub. One of the biggest questions that we get asked is why do we not go across the street or down the road and put additional hot tubs in for people to use? A residential hot tub is not certified, not only for Northern Health, but even just for the use of this facility in order to ensure that it's safe uh, and, and long lasting is, is why it is so important that we look at commercial applications for a commercial structure to keep the residents in the Peace region using the hot tub. Staff and contractors will continue to investigate and make repairs and find parts as they become available. Currently the valve required to repair the leaking valve has a delivery timeline of six to eight weeks, not including the Christmas season. Another update will be provided on February 1st, so that you're aware that up until that point in time, we're gonna to continue to work on this to get this hot tub open. We know this hot tub is well loved by everybody in the city and the region. We know you're frustrated this has taken so long to get to this stage. We are equally as frustrated as council, as staff, and, and, and as users of this phenomenal facility. We are grateful for the hard work of our staff and our specialized contractors in applying modern solutions to this very aging facility and pool. The Peace River Regional District and the City of Fort St. John will continue to work together to keep and assisting the facility operational until the construction of a new facility is upon us. Through a partnership agreement, the North Peace Leisure Pool is owned by the Peace River Regional District, PRRD, and it is operated by the City of Fort St. John. The North Peace Leisure Pool Facility Replacement Steering Committee continues to work on bringing a new facility forward through the necessary processes and levels of government.